These studies have revealed some of the most surprising facts in the world of psychology. 1. Loneliness hurts, literally. An amazing study has recently discovered that the emotion of loneliness does incredible harm on both our mind and body. The study, which was done in 2015 by Nancy J. Donovan through the National Health Institute, sampled 8,300 adults over the age of 65. Every two years, they were surveyed, and at the beginning, 17% of them admitted they suffered from loneliness. Over the next 12 years, the researchers realized that the people who said they were suffering from loneliness were suffering from a 20% faster decrease in cognitive ability and brain function. A separate study showed that those who were suffering from loneliness had an almost 15% higher chance of dying prematurely. 2. Having sexual fantasies means you're healthy, not sick-minded. People with weird sexual fantasies have long been considered mentally unstable or weird. But a new study that came out in 2013 suggests that those with sexual fantasies are actually mentally healthier than those who don't. A study, which was released in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, has a lot of people rethinking sexual fantasies and kinks. 902 people who practiced BDSM were compared with 434 people who just had normal sex. The results were surprising. Those who practiced BDSM were less neurotic, more open with their partners, and more sensitive and open to rejection. Not only that, but they seemed to be more secure in their relationships and were generally happier. 3. Facebook will make you depressed. Everyone who is addicted to Facebook needs to listen up right now. A new study released in 2015 by the Palo Alto University and the University of Houston has discovered that increased Facebook usage is linked to depression. That's right, the technology that is supposed to connect us with our friends is actually making us more lonely and depressed. Why is this? According to the study, which was published in the Journal of Social and Clinical Psychology, this is because people are comparing themselves to other people. In other words, Facebook turns our social life into a competition of who has the most friends and who is having the most fun. 4. iPhone users really do think they're better than everyone else. In 2016, a psychological study was done by the University of Lincoln in cooperation with two other schools. What they were studying was something that's become huge in recent years, the iPhone. The choice of whether a user chose Apple or Android revealed a lot about their personality. Dr. David Ellis of Lancaster University said, In this study, we demonstrated for the first time that an individual's choice of smartphone operating system can provide useful clues when it comes to predicting their personality and other individual characteristics. In other words, the smartphone has become an extension of ourselves, including our personality. A study found that iPhone users think that their phone represents their social and economic status and are more self-conscious and extroverted. In addition, they also try to look different. On the positive side, they also tend to be more open and sensitive. 5. Liberals are breaking record stress levels because of Trump. A new survey has shown that Americans are more stressed out than they've ever been before. And that's no coincidence. It turns out that the most stressed out people in the US right now are liberals. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out why. Every year, the American Psychological Association hosts its annual stress survey of America. And 2017's edition broke all existing records for stress levels. They found out that liberals were the most stressed out people in America right now and that more than half of over 1,000 people surveyed said that the current political climate was a very or somewhat significant source of stress. In addition, a full two-thirds of respondents to the survey said that they are stressed out about the nation's future. 6. Going for a walk could be the ultimate way to cure everything. Who could have thought that merely going for a walk could be so helpful to your mental health? A recent study released in 2016 by Iowa State University found that just 12 minutes of walking can increase one's mood massively. Another study released by Stanford University in 2014 suggests that walking can increase creativity by up to 60%. Yet another study released in 2010 by the University of Illinois suggests that walking can create more sparks and connection between neurons. A further study released in 2009 in the European Journal of Developmental Psychology suggests that walking can actually improve memory.